What's going on, my friends? We are, you see the little old cabin I'm at way back up here in the woods somewhere. They didn't even cut the grass yet. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to check on a hog job and whatnot. And uh, just got to sitting here thinking, talking to God uh, about the things that I have, the things that I don't have, the things that I want, things that's going through my head about other people that say about me and stuff like that. Just been sitting here. I actually just picked up a stool off the back porch and just brought it out here and just been sitting here kind of fighting the flies and the mosquitoes a little bit. But it got me to thinking, you know, uh, first of all, for the people that don't believe in God, if you don't want to watch the rest of this video, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching what little bit of ads you probably had to watch to get to this point. Uh, or you can just scroll on and go back to the pig trapping on the other uh, videos. But I do thank you. My faith is in Jesus, and that's where I plan on staying because I believe if I deny Jesus, he'll deny everything that he has given me so far. And uh, I'm very gracious and blessed to have what I do have. But that get me to my point. I called a fellow the other day, and I was telling him about something that, that I was kind of blessed with. And uh, he was like, well, it must be nice to just have that or get that or somebody just give you that. You know, and I was thinking, well, that wasn't the reaction I was getting. I was trying to get the reaction of, you know, that must be nice, you know, uh, as in congratulations. And kind of went on through like that. And I kind of felt like my own friend was telling me, he didn't appreciate or didn't like the fact that I was getting, given, earned something in my life and uh, that I was proud of. And uh, kind of like when people see me, me, me see me with my wife, they're like, man, you don't deserve her. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but later on, I went to call another fella and I was actually just going to kind of gossip a little bit. And I know that ain't right, but I was going to be like, I was going to call my other buddy and be like, hey, man, you ain't going to believe what he said. So I told my buddy, I was like, hey, man. First, I said, gave him the kind of the same deal. Hey, man, you ain't gonna believe what just happened to me. Guess what? Guess what? Uh, I was given, and no, 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 no. He was like, you know what, man? That's awesome, man. That congratulations, man. If anybody ever earned it, it was you. You know, it wasn't just given, but you earned it, and that made me feel good. And then I didn't get into the part of where I talked about the other guy saying, you know, I just felt like he was he was hating on me, like he just envied what i had or and it wasn't even that much <laughs> the thing was it wasn't even that much of a deal you know but uh so anyway it just made me think that like i just wonder sometimes could you be blocking your own blessing by hating on somebody else's blessing i mean this is this is one right here and i'm gonna give a shout out look at this truck you see this truck this truck is a barnes crossing chevrolet truck out of new albany mississippi they let me have this truck for a year to promote Barnes Crossing. Will I have it come into December? Who knows? Will I have to pay for the rest of it? Who knows? Will I get another truck? Who knows? All I know is right now that God gave me a vehicle and I'm able to travel to do shows, do everything I needed to do uh, and not worry about it. Y'all seen the trouble I've had with the old truck. I mean, I've just been blessed with it. But I've had people say, it must be nice. It must be nice. And I think... What if you congratulated somebody on something? Maybe you got a coworker. Maybe you got a some kinfolk. Maybe maybe somebody's got something that you wanted and you, you got envy or hate in your, your heart about it. But what if God was testing you by giving it to somebody else and saying, I wonder how you would be if somebody else got it before I give it to you. And maybe you block that blessing by having some envy or hatred in your heart. Uh, so I guess what I'm trying to say is if you have a friend, if you have kinfolk, if you have somebody that has something or get something that maybe you wanted in life or maybe you wanted the big house. Maybe you wanted the big truck. Maybe you wanted the big job. Maybe you wanted the land. It's everything that somebody else got, you wanted. But what if God wants to give you that? I know he wants to give you everything that you asked for. Uh, you know, I just wonder how our hearts are is the reason. Do we block ourselves sometimes by hating? You know, like my buddy Slade Fancher uh, with Follow the Fancher. I call him all the time. And every time I tell him something about good news or what happened to me because we're, we're, we're doing this YouTube thing and we're trying to make it grow. And every time I call him, he is so supportive. He wants to be where I'm at and I want to get him where I'm at. And I want to be up there with like... Uh, uh, Arms Family Homestead with six, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand followers. I'd love to be to that point, but we got to be happy at where we're at at the time that God has us there. And I just try to remember, I gained. I've only been doing this for eighteen months, and I got a hundred thousand subscribers. Okay, 
Well, that's a nice little check at the end of the month. It is. You know, and Slade wants to be up there where I'm at, and I want to be up there where Daniel Arms or Seek One or, or you know, those guys with that are, are Deer Meat for Dinner with three million or Blue Gabe uh, with seven, eight hundred thousand followers. I would love to be there, but I have to do the best I can at where I'm at. Okay. And it, and it does feel funny sometimes talking to, <laughs> talking to God. I ain't gonna lie to you, be like, Lord, can you help me? With this, with this YouTube, with this Facebook situation, can you help me with my yop yop dot com? Uh, you know, and it's like it sounds silly. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie; it sounds silly or selfish, but it's a job to me now, and uh, trying to figure it all out. I mean, if you're at your job, you're asking God to get you through a certain situation, or you you got a business, maybe you clean cars or or, or sell real estate or whatever. You're asking God, oh, Lord, let me sell this piece of property so I can feed my family or, or, or buy a car or whatever you want to do with it. It's your money. But, you know, sometimes I just wonder when we tell our friends or talk to talk to other people or family, if they're not truly happy for me, what if they could have more if they would just be happy for others? And uh, I guess it's just my little message today. You know, all good things come from the Lord. And, and I just believe if we are genuinely happy, we can kind of want what somebody else has. That's, I think that's a sin. I mean, I want my wife to have a new car, <laughs> but you know, I tell her all the time when she goes, she, she works for legacy hospice and she has to drive all to these homes, all over the place and 40, 50, 60 miles away from home. I'm like, baby, just take my truck, you know? And she's like, no, my car will be fine. I'm like, well, you call me. I feel guilty. You know, the Lord will bless us when it's time. He'll bless us with a nice home if he wants to. Right now we're in a two bedroom, uh, trailer hood house, you know, but it's paid for. And, uh, I guess what I'm just saying, man, just if somebody is happy for themselves for something, be happy for them. Go out there. Did you know that God can bless you? If you're stuck at a job, just say you're stuck at a job, you're making $25,000 a year. I don't know, whatever whatever it is. You have to live in those means, right? You have to live within that means. But what if I told you God give everybody a gift? Everybody has some type of gift that they can be successful at or bless other people with, and then in return, God will bless you. I promise you, I'm living proof. I'm a turkey goblin pig trapper. That's it. I reach millions of people, make a decent check off of it, get to live a, a wonderful life. My mental mentality is better because I got to get to do what I want to as long as I take care of the jobs I got to take care of. I don't care if it's basket weaving. Go weave some baskets. Bless somebody with them baskets and see how God works in your life. But have faith now and then be thankful for what he does give you. It can be amazing. Trust me. Just trust me on that. Any which ways. I hope y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. <laughs>